Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. Canucks Red Wings Thursday, Rogers Arena, Troy Stetcher, former Canucks standing by. All of our guests today, including Troy, are brought to you by the Alberni Power and Marine RPM Group. Located in Port Alberni, Alberni Power and Marine is one of Vancouver Island's most trusted boat dealerships. The largest Mercury Marine dealership in Canada, their service team just won. For the fourth straight year, a CSI score above the national average. That's customer satisfaction Index. It's a big deal, Rick. Yep. Make your appointment today for the 2022 boating season at albernipowermarine.com. As I mentioned, Red Wings in town to take on the Canucks tomorrow. Always a big deal when one of the original six teams uh, comes into Vancouver. Uh, Troy Stetcher, Red Wings defenseman, second year with Detroit. Of course, spent four years with the Canucks. Uh, before that, 27 years old from Richmond, B.C. Wings losing yesterday, 7-5. Yep. Uh, in Edmonton. Crazy game. Uh, Troy, uh, Troy with over 18 minutes. All right. Troy Stetcher joins us now. Thanks for doing this, sir. How are you? Yeah, good. Thanks for having me back on the show. Yeah, no problem, Troy. Hey, your first time playing against the Canucks uh, at Rogers Arena. What's what's Thursday going to mean to you? Well, that's exciting. Um, at the end of the day, it's just another game, but obviously with my first one back, I'm um, going to have a lot of family and friends in the building, so uh, I'm definitely excited uh, up for this game. How's life in Detroit, Troy? It's been good. Obviously, this year, you know, at the start of the season, we had a, a really good start. Uh, I think we surprised a lot of people. Um, as as of late, it hasn't been going too great, but uh, you know, we're continuing to build. We understand the situation we're in. Uh, it's fun going to the rink every single day. What's it like pulling on that fabled Red Wings uniform? Maybe going back to last year when you first pulled it on. Yeah, there's obviously a little bit more meaning to uh, behind it. Obviously, being an original six franchise and all the success that they've had and um, if you want to go into it, obviously they have a lot of past players in uh, management positions, so uh, you feel a lot of pride and when you throw it on and uh, you want to do them well. What's it like working for Steve Eisman? Speaking of Red Wings uh, legends. Yeah, it's uh, um, that he is uh, in his own right, so uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, being a general manager, you're probably not going to get the same experience as a fan would, uh, being able to talk to him, but uh, he's a great man and uh, he had a heck of a career, so it's pretty cool to to interact with him and you know pick his brain a little bit. Can you see what he's seeing, Troy? Can you see his vision building for the future? Yeah, I think like everybody in the room understands the position we're in, and uh, we've got a, got a lot of good young pieces in place. Obviously, with the addition of you know Sider and Raymond really coming into their own this year, that that's definitely helped you know the rebuild process. And, uh, you know, trying to have a purpose every day of trying to get better, strive to become a playoff team, and that's our focus. So it's a, it's a lot of fun, like I said, going to the rink every day and uh, interacting with those young guys. Troy, you saw a lot of uh, Ole Ulevi in Vancouver at training camps and, and so forth. You saw the development of this player. You saw his ups and downs. He's now with you in Detroit. Uh, talk about Ole and uh, him getting there, and how has he been since uh, he got to Detroit? Yeah, he's awesome. He's always been a good kid, so um, you know, it was exciting for our team to, to pick him up. And uh, I think he's been there well, probably not even a week yet, so um, he's still fairly new. He's definitely leaning on me as a, as a guy that he feels comfortable around. And uh, you know, he got on the lineup last night for the first time and played well, so uh, it's exciting to have him uh, a part of our group. Stahl played his uh, 1,000th game uh, the other night. Uh, You on your Twitter account said, legend. How cool was that to see him play game number 1,000? Yeah, he's he's such a good guy, such a good player. Um, You know, kind of one of those hard-nosed, honest, blue-collar D-man. So, um, you know, uh, an accomplishment well-deserved for Stahlzy. He's, uh, He's one of the best guys I've met around the game, and uh, he's such a good dad, and he's such a good friend, so uh, we we're all super, super happy for him to, to achieve that. UFA after this year, your two uh, years are up, uh, Troy, in Detroit. Uh, nervous time, trading deadline, a lot of stuff can happen. But anyways, talk a little bit about, is there a chance of uh, future in Detroit, or uh, how are you dealing with this uh, being a UFA soon? Uh, you know as much as I know. Uh, I'm 
wake up every morning, go to the rink, try to work as hard as I can, try to improve on my game. And it's a game day, try to go out there and help the team win. So um, that's been my focus. Obviously, this year having wrist surgery and you know missing three months really kind of changed my perspective on the game. And uh, my whole focus was just trying to get back and get healthy. So I haven't really had to, had much time to think about anything else. Troy, uh, JT Miller's on fire. He's one of the best players in the National Hockey League in the last probably four, five, six weeks. Uh, you played with him. He's tied for sixth in uh, scoring. Did you see this 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 player getting to this level where he has been in the last few weeks? Um, I, I always knew he was a really good player. I, res- I personally, I love his game. I love the way he plays the game. Um, he was such a big factor for us to my last year here when we made that playoff push. So. Um, uh, just watching from afar, it's really impressive. Mark Stahl, actually, who we just talked about, uh, he played with Novi in New York as well, and the two of us are D partners, so his name comes up often. And um, Just like anybody, you're happy when guys have success, and um, we wish him all the best, and just hope he's not against us. Uh, back to Mark Stahl. Help me out here, Troy. Has he been your partner most of the season? Yeah, every game I've played, I've been with Stalzy to start the game, and then last year I played every single game I played him with him. So he's kind of been my my mainstay D partner here in Detroit, and um, like I said, I'm Tuner, he's a legend. So I feel pretty <laughs> fortunate to be able to play with him. How has he helped you out, if at all? He's just so knowledgeable, and um, he just understands the game. Like <laughs> it goes without saying, he's a stall. Uh, you just look at the family success. Yeah. So. Um, just being able to pick his brain on little things, seeing the way he plays the game, the way he defends. Um, even though we're different statures, the two of us, you know, we kind of blend well when, we, when we're out there on the ice. And uh, I try to incorporate some of the things he does into my game. And, uh, he's definitely helped me. Okay, uh, you've got a couple of Calder candidates in your lineup. Uh, Vancouver fans haven't seen a lot of more cider. What uh, makes him special? Yeah, he's really, really, really good. <laughs> um, to treat watching him play every day it's it's fun going out there practicing with them and seeing some of the things he continues to work on so um he's just a force offensively defensively and uh at the same time he's got size and kind of a nastiness bite to him you know he doesn't shy away uh he's in there mixing it up so uh, he's gonna be a force in this league for a long time and what about lucas raymond yeah, really, really good, poised, uh, mature beyond his age. He's still only a teenager. He's 19. So uh, to see the success he's had this early in his career is uh, very impressive. And, um, you know, he continues to break some records within our franchise and our organization, which is crazy to think about with all the history that we have. So he's going to be a real special player as well. Get, getting back to the first part, just to, uh, as we wrap up here, Troy, getting back to the first part uh, of this interview, we've had you on before on our old show, and you talked about how hard it was to leave Vancouver. Will it be strange uh, tomorrow night to play against the Canucks? No, I don't think so. Like, at the end of the day, it's just another game, but um, truthfully, it's you know there's some meaning towards it, behind it for me. Uh, it's, it's a game I've had circle on my calendar for a long time, and I'm going to have a lot of family and friends in town. My girlfriend's got her family in town as well, so uh, it's going to be a memorable night for sure, but uh, when the puck drops, it's just another hockey game. Well, for what it's worth, Troy, people still talk about you leaving. They didn't want you to leave, so uh, all, all the best, Troy, and, and, and yeah. good luck uh, tomorrow night and the rest of the season and certainly in the, in the summer. Thank yeah, you so I appreciate much. it. Thanks, guys. Talk you, to you in the summer. You bet.